Wednesday, everybody. Look at Malachi and his lily pad. I don't know if I showed y'all. I got him a new frog. Did I show y'all this guy? He's like a ball. Isn't he so fun? He's had him now for a couple weeks. I can't remember if I showed him or not. Anyway, I'm coming on today because I have a peaceful baby that I would like to introduce. Stand by. Bless me. Thank you, everybody, for your blessings. <laughs> Woo! Those came from my toes. Anyway, I have a peaceful baby I'd like to introduce, but you're not looking at a blanket because I just couldn't cover this baby up with a blanket to introduce him. It's a boy. Oh, y'all. Y'all are got to get ready for just like a burst of personality over here. Uh, this is actually a kit that I, when it came out, I did not get it. I did not have a vision for this kit. Um, but when I was at the doll show in Kansas, one of the vendors was selling the kit. And the minute I pulled the head out of the bag, poof, I had a vision. Oh, I had to have this kit. All right, everybody. So let's come over here. So y'all look at her. I put her up in the pram. Princess Adelaide is sitting in the pram. Look how sweet she looks, y'all. Oh, my word. Oh, she's so sweet. Okay, so without further ado, oh my word, I just can't stand this baby. Not in a bad way. I mean, I just, oh, this face, y'all, get ready. Are you ready? One, two, three. Look at, it's Ethan Brace. Oh, y'all, look at him. Look at the dimples. I fell in love with those three dimples. He has a dimple on each chin. Each chin. No, each cheek. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's go. He has a dimple on each cheek and one in his chin. There we go. Like he has more than, well, he, does he have a couple chins? Well, he only has one in his chin anyway. Oh my word, he is just, he, I kept calling him an imp while I was painting him. He's got such the impish little grin. And um, y'all know, now I've shared with you that our, our weekend is Monday, Tuesday. And so uh, his hair finished I sealed it over Friday, Saturday, so Sunday he was ready to come to life. But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to prep him to be put together. You know, I did his glossing. I put his magnet in. Oh, I forgot to bring a passy over to show y'all. Anyway, he has a magnet for a passy. Um, I put his magnet, all that stuff. So I prepped him, and I thought, you know what? I'll probably put him together Wednesday because Monday, Tuesday is our day off. And then I realized, oh, my word, what better baby to be born on St. Patrick's Day. Talk about a leprechaun, right? Oh, such an imp. So I'm like, well, my husband's at work. Plus, okay, the deciding factor for all of you who have been with me for a while, y'all know I have a thing with the number eight. I have my whole life. And I love when numbers add up to eight, like when you have a row of numbers and you add them up to their smallest. You know, you keep adding till you have one digit. Well, the 17th, one seven is eight. So he was born on March 17th. Um, so anyway, that was like, that clinched it for me. Um, and I just, oh my word, I, I was snapping pictures immediately to send my husband. I'm like, look at this baby. He is so sweet. Okay. So let me describe him a bit for y'all. Um, he is full limbed. Uh, he is a peaceful baby. For those of you who are new that don't know what that means for me, a peaceful baby is a baby that. I did not have anybody waiting for this baby. So that means he's available. It's first come, first serve. I do not hold babies without a deposit or payment in full. Um, and I do not conduct business down below in the comments. If you're interested in him, you do need to message me. My email will be down below. Um, I Because some people follow me on one platform instead of multiple platforms. I, when this video goes up, a photo immediately was put on Instagram and Facebook. Um, so the people that may follow me on only one of those platforms is able to see he's available. Um, <clears throat> I prefer messages coming to my email, but I do sometimes get messages on Facebook and um, Instagram. So uh, I do my best to manage them in a timely fashion. Um, oh my word, this face, y'all. I just am so in love with this face. 
He is so adorable. Um, anyway, so let me tell you a bit about him. He was, like I said, he was born on Sunday. He is 18 inches long. Um, he is 5 pounds, 8 ounces. Oh, look at that face. And he has rooted hair. Let me... It's probably... So I rooted his hair. Let me get the brush. I rooted his hair on in the back and on the sides with straight hair. A little sparse for Kimberly. I, I'm, I'm really... There are certain babies that I see with sparse hair. And this was my vision for him to have sparse hair in the in the back and on the sides and then to have this little mop of curls on the top that sticking up as his tie from his necklace that's not hair um so that's his he has a swirl up there let me see if i can brush it a little bit better i'll be able to do it better when i have the camera on the tripod when i dress him so there's the back of his hair i'll fix that swirl and then in the front he has this beautiful mop of curls um, oh my word. Um, he, I, I went back and forth because I did kind of see him also with a little boy hairstyle, like, you know, parted on the side. And so I went with this because it's the best of both worlds. This can actually be brushed down. It's a little thick. I'll be honest. It's a little thick when you brush it down, but he can have that man hairdo or little man hairdo. Um, actually, I did his photo shoot this morning and I ended up not taking any photos like that because as much as I really like that hairdo on him, y'all know I'm about the curls and the crazy hair. So um, he does have painted textured eye brows. He has rooted upper lashes and painted lower lashes. His eyes are the newborn eyes. So they are a very deep, dark blue, actually, but they do appear brown. Um, that's why I love the newborn eyes. They kind of encompass a few colors. They're very fascinating to see um, if you don't have a baby with them. So they do come across as brown, but they're, they're a very, very dark blue. Um, he has um, he is painted with Genesis heat set paint, and he is textured, you know, sealed. Um, full limbs. His right hand, his um, his uh, pointer finger is d down in his palm, and then the other three fingers are sticking up at kind of different angles. And then his left hand is a fist, and then he has full legs. Nice rolls. His uh, right foot, the toes are all curled down, and then his his um, left foot, they are not. They're sticking up. But there is a space between his big toe and the next toe on both feet. Yeah, and the rest of the toes are all connected. So that's little Ethan Brace. Oh my word. He is painted in an, an ethnic skin tone. Oh, he's so beautiful, y'all. I can't stand it. Oh. Let me put this guy this on my tripod so I can dress him for y'all. There we go. Let me see. Maybe get y'all a little closer. Okay. So I'm going to dress him in one of his outfits that he will come home with. And I always put this under his photo under my photo shoots, but not everything you see in the photo shoots come home with the baby like the props and stuff. I've never had anybody complain and say, hey, why wasn't this in the box? But I do like to preface it. So this is an H&M outfit. It is size, oh, right here, zero to one month. And this fits him perfectly. And this, I was able to leave the tag on because the, the UK clothes put the tag in better places. Um, so this, this um, is a long sleeve onesie. And it is um, kind of an off-white color. And... Um, blue, very thin blue stripes. Um, let me actually take that out for a minute while I... And it's long-sleeved, and it has three buttons down the front. Oh, little man. Wait till y'all see his photo shoot. I, had some, I love photo shoots. They're so much fun. And I have a baby that's waiting to start getting rooted, who I will hopefully start in the next day or two. And then I have another baby I've already started painting. 
But today is Ethan's day, huh? His name is actually spelled E-T-H-O-N. That's his kit name. Uh, I did not name him. I don't name them. For those of you who don't know, I do not change their names because once I name them, I need to keep them. <laughs> I'm just going to put little white socks on him. A oh, little man. It's still a little cold here. I actually had a dream last night that it snowed. And my husband this morning said, I think it snowed. I'm like, you're kidding me. It snowed in my dream. But it did not. It's very gray today. It looks like it's going to rain. Uh, this is this came with this. This is a set. This is a little H&M uh, dungarees. They're a kind of a, I don't know what this is called. Uh, in denim, in the blue, it's like chambray, I think it's called. But this is gray and white. But they what what I love about these is the overall there's two black buttons on the front and on the back. You can actually take the straps off if you don't want them. But the buttons of course are there. Um, but I like them. I love dungarees. So we'll put these on little me on. Make him so cozy in this colder weather. But the um and you can actually have them so they're, they come straight over or crossed. I crossed them, um, and they, I, I felt they fit him better crossed. You didn't have that, like, gap up at the, up at the shoulder like you did when they were uncrossed. There was, like, too much, like, if he were moving, the straps would be falling off his shoulders if you didn't have them. Crossed. A little man, man. And then look, he has little tiny saddle shoes, y'all. Oh, how fun. Oh, look how sweet you are, little man. Like I said, he's looking for his mommy at the at this time of this recording. Um, I will mark him adopted once he has been adopted. Um, so if you're watching this, you know, years later or even a week, two, three weeks later and he's been adopted, he's marked. If, if he's not marked adopted, then he's still available. And to top it all off, oh, I wanted to show you the swirl a little better. Let's, oh, you're being mini pearl. I didn't tuck that tag in very well. <clears throat> and he will come home with his own little Kimberly's cocoon brush. All my babies come home with their own little brush. Even if you've adopted from me before, I still send you another brush. I've got like water droplets. I'm trying to brush them out of there. There we go. I don't know why I find putting my finger like in the center of the swirl helps me brush it better. <laughs> I don't know why, but it does. Does anybody else do that? I can spend forever like trying to get every hair exactly how it was rooted. <laughs> he is directionally rooted and that, you know, helps if you brush the hair in the direction it was rooted. Um, it just looks better, but I think there you can see his swirl a little better. Is he in the camera, y'all? Because I'm about to add the... Probably shouldn't have put so much water. Dry, dry, dry. Um, he, this has a little hat. And I had to take the tags off this because the tag was actually right smack dab in the center. If it were on the back, I'd have left it. But look how cute, y'all. I'll have to pop this off in a minute so that he doesn't have wet hair under a hat. Look how cute, y'all. So this is little Ethan Brace. Welcome him to Kimberly's Cocoon. Is he my second peaceful baby this year? I think so. Um, Birdie was my first. I think he's my second peaceful baby of 
2019. Here's his COA just to show you. He is number 1025 out of 1200. So that's his COA and he'll come home with that. And um, y'all know how I pack boxes. So there is little man Ethan looking oh so dapper. The saddle shoes y'all. Oh my word. I had actually put this outfit outfit on him after I put him together on Sunday. Not with, did I put the hat? Yeah, I think, yeah, I took pictures with him without just like personal photos to send my husband, but he was barefoot. And today I'm like, this outfit really needs shoes. And I went and I looked in my shoes and I'm like, no way. I was so happy. I had these little saddle shoes to put on him. <gasps> I just think it looks so cute on him. Or they look so cute on him. Anyway, so there's little Ethan Brace. And look at these two all snuggled up together. Little Birdie and Lucy Ray. Oh, all snuggled up together. Looking oh so sweet. I think uh, I think Birdie likes Lucy's little fox. I think she's fuzzing it. She says it's so soft. They say, hi, mommies. Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. He says, are you my mommy? Remember that book? That was such a fun book. She says, hi, Mommy. All right, everybody. Thank you for stopping by and <clears throat> seeing my most recent peaceful baby. And I pray everybody's having a fabulous, fabulous week. It's my Monday, so I'm, I'm a little thrown off. I know it's y'all's Wednesday. So I hope everybody's having a fabulous, fabulous Wednesday. And keep an eye out for spring, everybody. I know she's coming. I really do. <laughs> All right, everybody. Be blessed. And remember, each and every day, to find at least one thing to be joyful about. And we will talk to you later. Thank you for stopping by. Bye-bye.